This video is all about speed tests and Home Assistant. So I'm a speed freak as much as any other home automation nerd now, as in I like to know what my speed is on my internet. And usually that involves, well, running a speed test, right? We've all been there, we've always run speed tests. Um, and in general, I like to know, am I getting the service I've paid for? Am I, um, do I have a particularly slow service today? Is my ping really high? Cause I'm on Starlink, so you know, ping does go up and down a bit. There's a few different things I want to know about my speed, about my service for my internet. Now, there is an integration in Home Assistant that I'm going to take you through today. We're going to talk about how we use speed test in Home Assistant, uh, what it can be used for, and maybe why you should be careful about using it as well, because there are quite a few drawbacks to it. So let's get into it and do some speed testing. So I'm in Home Assistant here and I am going to go into my integrations. And here are the integrations I have so far. So I'm going to add an integration and is it simple as choosing speed test. So just search for speed test and the speed test.net. So speed test.net is the Ookla, 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 whatever you want to call it, however it's pronounced, um, service that runs a speed test. And a speed test is running Oh, yes, I do want to set it up, so click Submit. A speed test is running a bunch of data to a server somewhere and seeing how fast it goes and how long it takes, etc. Right? So uh, this is going to set up the integration with Home Assistant so that we can run a speed test inside of Home Assistant as an integrated service. That's basically what it does. There's nothing else to set up because, well, it just uses your connection that you have currently. And there we go. It's created. So where do I want to put it in an area? Well, not really, it doesn't really matter. I don't need to put it in an area because, well, it's just a speed test, right? So now we have it as a service here. You can see there's one service and three entities. So if I click on the service, it'll come up with just the speed test and there's no info as such. Now it has just run a, uh, a speed test. You can see it here, download, ping and upload. And those are the values that we that gets exposed from it and we want to run it. So. Uh, we're going to set up an automation though, because we want to run this on a schedule so I can figure out is my service going up and down, etc. Right. So one way of doing that is clicking on automations from here. Very handy. And, you know, do something. So Home Assistant will try and guess what you want to do with it um, and do something with a speed test, ping value changes, etc. So we can use the sensors that are here. Um, now, do we want to do that? No, because we're not really interested in that right now. We just we want to run it, right? So I'm going to close this and it's going to go back to integrations and we can see it here as well. So I'm going to go to back to my uh, automations, which are here. And I'm going to create a new automation. So bottom right here. Now I'm going to use the UI for this parts of it. Um, but you can also use Node Red. You can use YAML. There's many other ways of creating an automation, but in this case, I'm going to use the interface here. So I'm going to call this run speed test. And my trigger is then going to be a timed trigger, time pattern, because I want to run it regularly. Now we're not actually going to have any uh, action from this as such, um, but I'm going to run on all hours. So that's just a start. And I'm going to run every half hour. And we'll get back to how we can sort of how you might want to adjust this as well well i'll get back to that when we talk more about you know some of the caveats for this so here's my trigger just a time pattern every 30 minutes so i'm not going to have any conditions but i am of course going to have an action i'm going to run the speed test every half hour right so you can go in here and you can say a device or you can call a service so i'm going to call a service and then we have to choose the service and i can search obviously for speed test you can see here it's just one. That's all it does. It just runs a speed test. Immediately execute a speed test with speed test on it. That's all we need to do. And then we click save. So now we have every half hour, we have an action. It runs a speed test, right? So if I go up here, I can see that, well, I can go back. And now in here we have a, where'd it go? What did I call again? Run speed test. Again, naming of automation is not my strong side. 
But anyway, it's good naming, do it. So I can run this now, um, run actions, and then this is gonna perform a speed test for us. So it just runs in the background, you can't actually see it anywhere, it's not like there's a pretty UI, uh, like there are, you know, if you run it on speedtest.net on the website. But now it's run the automation. So what I can do is I can go back into and find the entity. So if I go, I'll go into integrations, probably the easiest way, click on the service, and we can see we just ran it again, and there you go, it updated, right? So we've just run it. Now, if I click on, say, the download, we should get a history here. If I click on up here, and you can see it was, download speed was up here, was about 108 where it was before, and now it's down to 73, right? So there it is, 107, yeah, 108. So we get some data. So every half hour, it's going to run it, and it's going to give us some data. And that's all well and good. But now we have speed test running. We have some data going into it. You know, it's the same for ping. We can go back to the history here as well. And you can see it started at, you know, whatever, 54. And it goes up to, you know, gone down to 50. Uh, not that useful, but we are going to make it useful. So why do I want to know about my ping speed and my download um, speed and my upload speed? Like, why do I need to know? So for me, because of Starlink, it goes so much up and down. And there's been some reports recently that people's speed has gone down, you know, over time. And I'm not so sure because when I do speed tests, I often get 200 megabit, sometimes 250, sometimes I get 60. So it's very fluctuating. So what I'd like to do is have some historic data that shows me, hey, over time, is this going up or down or what's happening with it? So that's sort of my primary, but also just knowing, hey, your ping's really high or your speed's really low or whatever it might be. So we can set up some automations for this. So if I go back to my automations, so now I can use that value that we're now creating, and we're generating values, right? So I can go in and I can create a new automation. So ah, click on create automation. Again, I'm still using the uh, visual editor here, but use whatever you feel like. And I wanna know uh, alert, actually I'm gonna call this speed, uh, download low so if I have a low download speed I want to know about it and then this is a I'm going to choose a templated trigger so a templated trigger is that if something uh, actually you can create whatever template it is in YAML um, and you can put in sort of your own custom values for what you want this to trigger um, now I'm going to copy this from the home assistant uh, integration documentation for the speedtest.net and I'll link to that below as well and I'll click here now my value template is this so it states that so that, I'm just copied it directly up by the way so if my speed sen uh, test is greater than 10 I want to do something now I I want to actually know if it's uh, less than something right I don't need to know about greater I need to know if it's less than say 40 maybe because that's very low right 40 on starlink 40 megabit that is is quite low so i want to know about that and that will be my trigger so that's a template it's you know it's yaml essentially it's a yaml if i uh, a yaml part of it so if i go in here and i say edit in yaml you can see that this has come up as platform template value of that template is this right so that's how it comes in if, if you want to edit it in yaml we'll just go back and we'll look at the visual editor here now, what do I want to do? What do I want to do if something is lower than 40? Well, I want to choose a uh, service. I want to actually call a service because I want to notify my phone. Right? I want to know on my phone in Home Assistant, <laughs> it's low. Just because then I'm aware that if it happens a lot, hey, okay, I need to maybe you know, investigate why it's happening a lot. And then the service here will be uh, notification send a notification via mobile app and i'm the pixel 5 so there's a few different phones on my home assistant so i'm going to notify there we go let's go another bit notify my pixel 5 that's a pixel 5 and then the message is going to be download speed low that'll do i don't have to know the value as such um we can put it actually eh, let's go with a title that says download speed low and we're going to go here and say um be aware internet slow or something 
right? You can put whatever you want. <laughs> um, and that's it. I've now created a, an automation based on the value of the speed test. So I'm going to save that. And that seemed to be happy. Did I get any errors? No, nope, that's right. And here's my list of automations. And I have down here is my speed download low. I want to run that action just because. So here we go. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that, but it says download speed low. Be aware. Internet slow. So that came through. And that's obviously when I click run action, I bypass the trigger. But I know that my notification works now. So that's good. So when the trigger is less than 40 uh, megabit download, well, then I get a notification. And that's useful. Now I can set this up for ping as well, or for upload speed. Um, for me, ping is probably important as well. I want to know if my ping goes excessively large. But the download speed is really useful to know. Um, mainly because there's so many people here and so many things on the farm that use the internet now um, that I want to know about that. If you enjoy the uh, content here and if you enjoy the channel, please consider subscribing, uh, give the video a like. And uh, if you really want to support the channel and all the different home automations and networking things and cars and Lego, whatever it is that I do, you can consider joining the channel as well as a member. Hmm? All the details are below. Okay, so let's talk about the speed test integration because you can get into trouble with that. So there's a few reasons why you might want to consider not using it. Now, I put it on every half hour. Um, I wouldn't put it much more than that because remember, when you run a speed test, you use all the bandwidth for that entire time that that speed test is running. So if you run it every minute, if the speed test takes 15 seconds or 20 seconds, well, every 15 seconds of that minute, you are maxing out your bandwidth. And if anyone else is using it, say they're on a Zoom call or they're trying to upload things and they're watching some, well, streaming is not too bad actually with that, but anything immediate usage of the data will mean that they lose connection or it gets slower or whatever. So be careful with that. Now, another thing is that the if depending on how you set it up with Home Assistant, the LAN adapter on your equipment might be a limiter. So for example, I run it on a Raspberry Pi 4, and I believe that the gigabit LAN adapter only runs to about 300 megabit. Um, so if my speed goes higher than that, I wouldn't actually capture all of it. Right? It wouldn't. It would just max out. So that's another thing. Um, it, you can use considerable amount of data if you are using. Uh, if you're on a plan that has limited data, which I used to be, and you run a speed test very often, you do use a lot of data. That's how it tests the speed: is that you upload and download a ton of data. That's how it works, right? Um, but that's part of the, um, I'm just looking at my notes here. Those are probably the main things. Um, yeah, system performance, because it maxes out, it runs everything really fast. You might see some performance degradation when the speed test is running. So I would say be careful with how often you run it. I'm just going to go every half hour. I might even put it down to every hour if I see that it, it creates too much um, disturbance. And then... I'll go from there, but I just need some data that shows over time what my download speed is doing. Yeah. So that's it, pretty pretty quick and simple. If you want to know about speed on your network and you have a home assistant, this is a really nice integration, uh, which is really easy to set up. Uh, it's quite convenient. You can, you can gather data for historic purposes and uh, you can use it in automation. So you could have a little light that says, oh, you know, red or green, might you know, put up uh, so you know visually if speed is low or high or whatever it might be that suits your specific scenario but i hope you enjoyed the video please do consider subscribing and i'll see you next time that's it if you want to use uh speed with net net net